piss off your quads. So use the muscle. Yeah, to use the muscle, you're gonna abuse it. Use it and abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> did you make that one up? I did actually. Hey, use, use it. it and abuse use it, bro. It and abuse it. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Snap out another place. Abilities. Make sure you're aware of those because they really throw you off and injure you and take you out of the gym for a while. So, right now it's just going to be 225 for probably five, uh, I'll say five by five, maybe six sets. Uh, nothing too heavy. I already went heavy this week. So, sorry you guys don't get to see me go heavy. I did put up 315 for five. You can ask anybody at my gym. I don't know, you're not warm yet. Huh. You're not warm yet. <laughs> Just getting over an injury, so. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Hey, you buoy. You get warmed up, buddy. The thing is, you probably watch me not go all the way up. And it's because I found that you keep more tension on the muscle if you don't fully extend, um, which you'll get more results. So as I go up, I'm going up almost parallel, but just enough where my knees are still bent and there's still pressure on my quads. Just a little tip for the, uh, the squat. Um, yeah, so hopefully that'll help anybody that's trying but if you're just beginning try to get the full extension up and everything else I've been doing this for almost four years now so you got to find new tips and tricks here and there to, to piss off your quads so use the muscle yeah to use the muscle you gotta abuse it use it and abuse it <laughs> did you make that one up I did actually hey use, use it. it and abuse it bro hell yeah brother Snap out another blade! <laughs> Good, and I'm just watching my back, so. structure my uh, leg work is too. Some people like to go all quads first and hammies last, then calves. I like to do a quad hammy, quad hammy, quad hammy, quad hammy. Um, just for, just so it gets hit all at once kind of thing. Like sometimes I'll superset. Today, I'm probably gonna just superset the smaller things, whereas the more compound movements like leg press and squat and even uh, Sit like that, those are dumbbells. Sometimes I can superset with those. But uh, today I'm just gonna keep it relatively uh, hypertrophy. 
Um, besides the power kind of that I'm working on right now, I'm trying to work back up to, you know, what I used to be at. Because uh, shit happens. You live and learn. Uh, just be careful. So that's just the way I like to structure my, my leg workouts. It's either superset day, failure day, or straight up pyramid day. So you gotta, you gotta use some kind of specialized training in order to see growth, or you're just gonna be stuck in the gym for three months and not see a thing. So you wanna make sure your programs are legit, that they work, that they work for you. Make sure every exercise you do actually fires the muscle that you're working, because if it doesn't, then don't do it. Honestly, switch. I've talked about this before. Switch it up. I'm gonna do one more. Straight to failure, same thing I get. Um, how many reps is this failure? How many reps? How many reps is to failure? Yeah, for you right now. For me? We'll see. I'd say maybe. <sighs> so quads are already fired up. I want to say 12, maybe. Yeah. We'll try. It. Do it, baby. I mean, I usually can with 225, but like I said, my back's starting to tweak out a little bit. Oh. But it is what it is. When you're dedicated as much as I am, yeah, you're like Ronnie, right? The guy friggin' took his friggin' hips out, his back out. He's still doing leg press at like 50, 60 years old. Insane. Woo! King Ronnie, though. King Ronnie. Bend in the bar. G-Wagon, G-Wagon. G-Wagon, G-Wagon. Oh shit, we might get copyrighted for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're singing, we're fine. <laughs> What's next? Uh, so we're gonna do some uh, stiff-legged dumbbell deadlifts. Stiff-legged dumbbell. 